Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Zoho Assist. Zoho Assist is the wonderful software that you can use uh, for remote support. And now the first thing that you want to do is just create an account with me. If you didn't create it yet, create it with me. And if you already created it, just skip this part. Now I will just add a first name and password. And I agree to terms and service, start my free trial. Now let's just wait until it's going to get load. Welcome aboard, setting up your account. Now I'm going to get also the verification. So definitely confirm the account, verify, access your account. And here we go. So what you can find here and how it actually works. Uh, you're going to see Zoho S is right here. Then Anten and Access, Reports and Settings. When you're going to click on a remote support, you're going to see the home. To access your remote customer screen for troubleshooting, you would add the custom email address right here. Or what you can do is to simply share your screen. To share your computer screen for demo or training, customer email address. I'm going to add it right here, let's say like this. And now I can click start now. Invitation sent. Uh, now click start the screen sharing session. Click on open Zoho Assist. Download. Connect. You need to download the software right here. And let's just wait until it's going to get installed. Yet to join. Okay. I'm now installing the program. I'm going on Gmail right now to uh, like connect with my second account. And now <clears throat> you're going to join the screen sharing session. And let's say I want to screen uh, this thing, this screen share. Now when I'm going to click on a notification here, look at this. Okay. I'm trying to really like show it to you. Uh, this is how it looks on a customer. Yep. This is pretty bad. So this is what you can see and you see the view full screen. Request control, you can send files, you can chat with someone. But let's say that I'm going to. Yep. This is the like what I'm sharing right now. And this is what I'm going to show you. I know it's a little bit lost here. This is the screen that the customer is going to see. And they can view the full screen, actual sites show remote session request control network statistics files and this is how you can do it right with this software and now what i have to do is go to just like when i have the zoho assist here participants i can chat here i can simply click stop and x do you want to leave this session okay now i when i would go to zoho assist i would have always it here right and that's how we can do it and now joined and I can end the session here. So that's how you can do it. And what you can do is also to access your remote customer screen for troubleshooting, you would paste the customer email address right here. And then like, let's say I'm going to edit, start now, invitation sent to my email. Look at this. Hello, room support session to assist you better. Join session. <clears throat> Join session. And now the like the client needs to actually download the software. They connect again, they need to download it and then you're in. And this is pretty much it how it works, guys. So if you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And then let's continue.
on re and remote support under home, you would find also contact and you can simply add new contacts or you can go back to home and then you're gonna have like unattended access. And here, settings up unattended access on a remote device allows you to access the computer without the need for your customer to be present at the other end, enabling you to provide unattended technical support anytime. So uh, what is really great about this is that uh, like you're gonna share the link, then they're gonna click in, they will open it and you can like access it. So you can share the deployment link. Hello, I'm sending you unattending. So I can even send it to the email. Sending you a link, download instructions is to assist you better. Download or download installer, choose the install depending on the operating system. When I would go here, I would get an email and then you have like the de deployment. And now if the customer is going to allow it and they would get it, then what is going to happen is that you can add a device here. And right now, look at this. This is the email the customer is going to get. He's going to download it. See, and how it looks like is access to my deep department that's how it looks like so that's pretty much how it's possible to use it and then you can simply have the access to their computers and it's really great because you can like work with it from long distance right and then you can have like reports here uh like the remote support unattending access customer support and settings you can manage technicians, department, rebranding, and really optimize it as much as you want. So guys, if you can have any questions about how we can use uh, the Zoho Assist, this was like pretty straightforward tutorial, what you can do. And what you can do with it. This was a Zoho, Zoho tutorial, Zoho guide, Zoho Assist beginner's guide. And yeah. Thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye.